We're going to do a brief video on gold price, gold price prediction, and we've got a daily chart of gold futures from Comex on here with a 200-day moving average in blue. You cannot see it on here because it hasn't updated yet, but gold made a new high today of uh, $1,725, which is right about here on this chart. And um, that's significant because it's approaching this, this recent high on October 4th of 1738. So it's come up here to 17 uh, 25 and sold off about eight bucks. It's currently down, but its low is 1706, which is right about here. So no big deal. In other words, we made a good rally and now we're just selling down a little bit. You can't see it on here. I'm going to show you the weekly chart real quick. Uh, let's take a look. As you can see, this week we're right up against the uh, this is not updated yet, but this has actually exceeded this 20-week uh, moving average. This is uh, this this hasn't updated yet. It'll update tonight, but it's it's exceeded this by about five dollars. So we're uh, over the the 20-week moving average now is about seventeen hundred nineteen dollars, and we went to seventeen hundred twenty and twenty-five dollars today. So it's exceeded this 20-week moving average, which is very positive for gold. Now it's got to close above the 20-week moving average to mean anything and you'll see that it has not closed above the 20 week moving average since all the way back in april the week of april 25th 2022 so that would be a big deal also you'll notice this week we're, we're coming back above the 200 week moving average so if in one week we can close above this um say close at 17 20 or more that means we will have closed above the 200 week moving average and the 20 week moving average which should be significant from a technical perspective for gold so I don't know that I'm going to say I'm looking for that, but if we see that, then we can expect several things. And let's go back to the daily chart. If we close above 1720, we can expect a decline in gold to, to fall back here. Today we fell back to uh, 1706, which is only right here, and that's not enough. We would need to fall back down here to probably 1685-ish, maybe a little lower, and then catch some support catch some longer term buyers stepping up, afraid they're going to miss the rally to push gold up. Now, ideally, that would take us into next week. If it goes too far too fast, it's going to fail. And it may be failing today. It's hard to say if today was as high as it's going to go or not. But if we can come down here and catch support along the five day and the 20 day moving average, and if that takes, you know, into next week, like Tuesday, or maybe even Wednesday, and put in three, four, five days of good solid little support here, similar to this, then we should get a little sell-off into here, this this area right here, the 1695-ish, and that should push us back up in here to new highs and, and be able to exceed the 1738. If we just fly up here real quick, then I don't think it's going to hold up, and it may not have held up or may not hold up after today. We went to 1725, which is right here. If, if in fact, we're not going to uh, pierce this 1738, then gold will probably fall down here, and you'll know that's happening if we drop below the 1670. Uh, the 1667 level so it's it's hard to say what's going to happen if you look at this carefully you can see on a daily chart we've been sideways in gold all the way back since september 28th but the big thing is we've been sideways in gold below the 200 week moving average so if we can get above the 200 week moving average on a close and close for this friday above the the uh, 20 week moving average that's going to be a big deal technically now you can't see it again on this chart but i'm looking at an hourly chart on another screen that i've got here and from an hourly perspective gold is kind of ratcheting around it's not putting in the proper support uh, for prices to be sustainable and it's ratcheted around uh, got to this 1725 level this morning and it's kind of going sideways right now so that's not real you know real great for long-term rally in gold as i say i think gold's going to sell down i think it's going to sell down to probably 1685 ish minimum and then oh but over a period of days and then probably uh catch some support if it doesn't catch support the rallying gold's over for the short term if it does catch support then we would come back up and attack the 1738 late next week probably maybe uh two weeks so that's what i see for gold futures right at the moment let's go down and see what rbm research says about it got algorithmically generated entry prices for gold down here somewhere right here out for today the 9th of november entertainment purposes only can't use them for anything other than entertainment but they're one two five ten and twenty trading day holding periods and it shows short at 1682 so this is this doesn't sound like it's consistent with my analysis but it is it's saying hey if this drops down short it and make some profits to probably 1665 i'm just guessing for entertainment purposes only and it's also saying if you're a longer term holder and it gets as low as 1722 which of course today it did so it's this price went from 1725 today went from 1725 all the way down to 
uh, looks like 1706. So you could have got in this morning. Keep in mind, hypothetical entertainment purposes only. But you got to get in this morning at this 1722 all across the board. Uh, and the 5, 10, and 20 been in and out today and hypothetically made over $15 an ounce profit already. And it's the way these work. You get in, but you get out as soon as you make a profit. You don't hold the, the long, the, the whole term unless you close out at a loss. So if you get in one day, two day, five day, you close out at the end of those periods at a loss, but you take your profits as soon as you get them. So if you got in, assuming your own analysis said it was a good idea at 1722 and changed this morning, which you could have done, you could have written that down as far as you wanted to. The market went to 1706, take your profits, you'd be out today. So essentially you'd be day trading these five, 10 and 20 day hold periods. Now, if you have the stomach to hold on longer and you want to do that, that's something different. You have to be, you know, you have to be uh, an expert to use any of these and they're not for amateurs, but definitely would have got you some money hypothetically uh, today on these. These two lower ones have not been hit yet. The low for today is 1706. So that's where we are with Gold Futures. You can get access to everything we've got, all free trial at rbamresearch.com. 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto. The, we have great S&P futures, crude oil, gold, as I just showed you, and treasury bond futures, all updated by 7 a.m. If you come by after 6 p.m. the night before, Usually everything's updated uh, except for crypto, but guaranteed updated before 7 a.m. Crypto is usually updated after 8 p.m. Uh, RBAMResearch.com, link in the description below. Access is free, no credit card required. Head over there, put your email address in, get instant access. Everything you've seen and heard on here, including our enterprises and commentary, is for entertainment purposes only. You can't use our entry prices or commentary for anything but entertainment. You definitely trade at your own risk, and you all should always do your own analysis. If you have a futures currency or stock symbol that you want us to do a technical analysis on a video for YouTube, please leave it in the comment section below. And if it's big enough, if it looks like a lot of people would be interested in it, we'll consider doing it. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well.